okay. It'll be okay. Don't worry. It's gonna be okay. Is everything okay? Yeah, I think so. I'm just really nervous. It's gonna be fine. You'll have a great day. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Love you. We'll see you after school. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, everyone, settle down. My name is Mr. Martin. Welcome to Science 7-2. I just want to start off with a few ground rules. There will be no gum or food in class. I expect that you will arrive at class on time with all your materials prepared, and that if you have something to say, that you will put up your hand instead of blurting out. All right? Now, we're going to start off with a pop quiz. Okay. All right, okay. I know. We're just going to see what we remember from last year, all right? <sighs> and I prefer that you only use pencil, please. Yes? Um, I didn't realize that we'd be writing a test today. I forgot to bring my pencil. All right, well, I'll let you use mine, but I want to make sure that I get it back, so I'd like to borrow something of yours in return. May I borrow your shoe? All right, everyone, settle down, settle down. Okay. Thank you. You have ten minutes. Okay. Um, I know. Um, um, national sport. Uh, Um, could I just, could I go get a drink, please? Thank you. Thank you. Lost in the hallways and went the wrong locker. I'm just I, I don't want to hear it. You've disrupted the class. I'll have to see you after school. Have a seat. Hey, how are you? How was the day? I don't want to talk about it. What happened? Nothing. Yeah, we'll talk to you later. Okay? okay, let's talk about it. I just, I don't want to. Thanks, Kim, Byron, for, for meeting with us. We wanted to talk about uh, a bit about some of the challenges the first day of school that came up with Scott, and it's our chance kind of to, to talk to you about how, you know, Scott is a bit of a rigid, rigid thinker, a very anxious child, and we wanted to talk about some strategies and kind of make sure that these situations uh, minimized or don't happen uh, for the rest of the year here. Um, I, I think we're just a little bit frustrated about the fact that he didn't have the positive experience that we were hoping he was going to have starting out the school year. And it was just a few, a few little things, but they just built on each other and, and made for a very um, anxiety-ridden day for him. And I understand you're trying to sort of set up some expectations, but um, I think Scott needs some extra considerations with his anxiety. Right. Transitions for Scott have always been a challenge as the elementary to, to junior high is, is a big challenge and I think even bigger for, for Scott for sure. And then the day-to-day -day transitions from class to class is a new experience for Scott as well and those are really just build upon it and we, we, we know it's little things just keep building and building for, for Scott as he goes through each of the, the day. Obviously that, that transition from elementary school to junior high, there are new rules being set in place and, and so I've always found to, to start with those uh, to uh, set the parameters so that uh, we can teach kids a, a new level of responsibility and that they can rise to the occasion. Uh, obviously I can be a, a little more sensitive now knowing uh, that Scott has those anxiety issues, um, but are there any uh, particular uh, strategies that you've used in the past or had teachers use in the past uh, in classroom settings that have worked for Scott? 
Well, I know some of the strategies that worked for him last year was um, were placing his desk closer to the door, um, because if Scott does feel upset or anxious or feels like he's going to have a panic attack, he has the option of stepping out of the room and calming himself down away from the rest of the class and having permission to do so without uh, without having to check in with the teacher first would be really helpful. It just doesn't call attention to him. Um, when Scott writes a test, sometimes he just needs a little check-in from the teacher either before or just as the test is handed out, just to make sure he understands that um, what the expectations are and if he has any questions and almost just to touch base and calm him down a little bit before he starts. Scott definitely needs more time to finish a test, or, or at least knowing that he has more time if needed. And most of the time he doesn't need it, but he just needs to know that option is there for him. It sounds like you have got some great strategies that have worked with him in the past. And I think it would be a wonderful thing for us to look at meeting with all his teachers, um, sharing some of the strategies of what has mm -hmm. worked with him, um, because you've indicated to Byron and I already some of those things. So the more that all of his teachers are aware of those, we can implement those, as well as share some of the perspectives of what's happening in different classes for him. And then we can all bring that together. So let's perhaps okay. look at meeting next week and we can connect on that. Sure. and then move yeah. forward from there. That'd be great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Differences of opinion or even conflict are not in themselves a problem. What is important is how it is handled. Communicate. Listen to concerns. Share knowledge. Seek collaborative solutions. At first, I was apprehensive about working with parents, but I've come to welcome and embrace our relationship. I think it's about developing a mutual respect for what we each bring to the table. 